you to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. Hello, hello. Awkward clap. Hello, hello. Happy Friday. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning into today's video. Today's video is going to be a bit of a chat. I wanted to talk a bit more about my fitness journey and specifically five things that have helped me achieve these results that you see here. Now, I will preface this video by saying this is my experience. This is what has worked for me. You will need to work with a specialist to find what is going to work for you long-term, workouts, nutrition, water intake, stress management, all of the above. So do not take what I say as gospel. I just get a lot of questions in regards to my postpartum fitness journey and I wanted to share just some helpful things for my own journey um, and, and kind of what has led me to get the results that I have gotten. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure and hit that thumbs up, stick around, and I hope you enjoy the video. So I guess first I'll do a little background on myself. I come from a past of struggling with body image and weight for a good part of my life. It wasn't until I was in my early 20s that I started to learn more about nutrition, the benefits of strength training, and how to find a consistent approach to nutrition. Before then, I yo-yo dieted. I have tried them all. None of them worked for me long term. So I have done two bodybuilding shows in the past both of which I got very, very lean and tried to stay very, very lean for too long. It ended up wrecking my hormones. I lost my menstrual cycle. I took about a year to fix my hormones and get that back on track. And then I found a very, very healthy balance with my, uh, with my physique, with training, with nutrition, and then I got pregnant. So uh, during my pregnancy, I stayed very active. I continued to eat healthy. I focused on taking care of my body, taking care of Eva's body, and just staying as healthy as possible. I thought that it was going to be not necessarily easy, but I thought that I wouldn't struggle so badly after I had her because I did all of the right things during my pregnancy and prior to. Uh, I ended up struggling so badly after I had Eva. You can go back and check out videos that I've done in the last two years. Um, I struggled with postpartum depression. I actually gained weight after I had Eva when everybody said it would be the opposite. I struggled with breastfeeding, um, hormonal issues. I was a bit of a mess. And so coming from such a healthy mindset and healthy past into this, I really, really struggled. So it took me about a year and a half to really feel like myself again. And I feel like at two years after, you know, two years postpartum is whenever I really, really started to thrive. And I'm about two years and four months um, as a mom now. So Eva turned two at the end of May. But what I have done from then to now, probably wanting the secret, um, many of you will click off this video because the answer is not what you want to hear. Um, it's consistency. That's the main thing. And that's the first of five little tips that I'll throw out in this video is consistency. Staying consistent over time. Consistency does not equal perfection. Perfection is something that I struggle with. I am a perfectionist. And so I tend to want to go all in. And if I'm not 100% on, I feel like a failure. And that was one of the main things, not just as a mom in the last two years, but over the last 10 years that I have learned is consistency trumps perfection every time. And so if you fall off track with your diet, if you fall off track with your workouts, something happens in life and <laughs> you don't get to work out for weeks, getting back to it and just focusing on consistency is so, so important. I would say that's probably the most important tip that I can give anybody in the health and fitness realm on their health and fitness journey is consistency. Find something that you can stay consistent with. Stop looking for the quick fixes, stop looking for crash diets and the quick answers and that's why this video is not that. And I apologize if that's what you're looking for. 
And that's what the thumbnail talked about because I gotta get people in, but consistency is the main thing. What I've done, I'll scoot over because I'm gonna play a little bit of like training footage and just pictures so you can see kind of where I've come in the last couple of years. What I have done is I have continued to show up. I don't feel good, like mentally I don't wanna be here. I do something. I do something to focus on my mental and or physical health as much as possible. And I have had days where I do nothing. And I've had days where I've been completely off track. There have been holidays and birthdays and special occasions and trips, all in between then and now. But consistency is the main thing. I always come back to consistency. And that's the first tip. Second tip, track your macros. That's it. I practice flexible dieting. I don't follow any specific diet or eating approach. Uh, yes, I try to get whole foods as most of my macronutrient sources per day. But I enjoy, um, let me show you some of my fun foods. Crackers. Mac and cheese. These little oat bites, those are freaking delicious. This cereal, probably one of my favorites of all time. This pancake mix, mix is amazing. Um, it's not about perfection. I track my macros. I have a certain amount of protein, carbs, and fats that I aim for every day. That's the broad picture. That's a good place to start. We can get more into the nitty gritty of fiber, whole foods, micronutrients, but I would say focus on hitting your macronutrients first and then honing in on the little details. Um, of course, we wanna be internally healthy. And so that brings me to the next point is I prioritize micronutrients as much as possible. Some days I eat junky food. Some days I have chicken nuggets and mac and cheese for dinner. But for the most part, my diet consists of whole food options. Lots of lean meats, lots of fruits, lots of whole grains and, you know, what a lot of people would consider clean carb sources. Um, I do a lot of like steam fresh vegetables. Very, very simple. Um, it's, not, it's not super fancy. Um, we batch cook meats throughout the week. We've got some lean ground beef sitting in the fridge that we're gonna cook and I'll eat on for several days. I'll just mix with different meals and rice and veggies. Um, and I take a nutrient pack every single day it's got antioxidant, multivitamin, CoQ10, fruits and veggies, probiotic, and essential fatty acids. I take one of these every day because my diet is not perfect, so I help fill in the gaps with micronutrient supplements. I try to get as many from my diet as possible, but I'm not against helping to fill in the gaps as needed. The next priority, next tip, strength training. I strength train. I work on building lean muscle tissue, which superficial side it helps improve your physique it gives you muscles um, but in the long term there are so many benefits to strength training doesn't mean you have to go and max out on your squats and your bench every single week resistance training of some kind bands dumbbells machines barbells you know old school training um, just focusing on strength training is something that I have done consistently not just for the last two and a half years but for the last 10 years and it has changed my physique, it has changed my confidence, it has changed my health in more ways than I can explain. And when I first got into like the fitness realm, when I worked at the gym that I now work out at, I always thought muscles on women was weird. Not gonna lie, I was like, ew. But whenever I started getting into strength training and I realized how hard those muscular women worked every single day, I started to respect it. And then I started lifting and it felt good and my confidence changed and my outlook on muscles on women changed entirely. And strength training has <clears throat> been one of the most important and beneficial aspects of my health of all time. Uh, the last little simple tip, water. Prioritizing water intake. Nothing fancy. I don't drink, I mean, I drink coffee. Don't get me wrong. I drink pre-workout. I love it. I love caffeine. But I make sure to get in a minimum of 100 ounces per day. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's always something that I fall back on. 
is water intake. Um, worst case scenario, if I have a day where I'm completely off, water and protein are my two focuses with nutrition. And then next day, I get back on the consistency train. My mouth is dry. We've got consistency, track your macros, strength training, prioritize micronutrients, water intake. It's really simple. It's not easy, but it's simple. And I'll have people reach out to me and ask, um, you know, what'd you do? Like, I see your picture, what'd you do? And a lot of times we're looking for the secret and the quick fix, but it's, it's that simple. It all comes down to consistency and staying consistent and continuing to show up. Even if you've been off track for weeks or months or years, you can always start fresh today. And this is my passion. I love what I do as a coach. I love helping people to find what they can stay consistent with. And I love talking about it. So if you all have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. But I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure and hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and let me know. It helps the channel. It helps the algorithm. It also helps me to see what you guys like to see on the channel. But I think that's going to be it. I appreciate you tuning in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Let me know what other videos you want to see and if you have any questions. And have fun out there. Bye.